Hi everyone, welcome to Ama Pilates and Yoga. My name is Marisol, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a certified yoga and Pilates instructor. And normally on my channel, I'll post a new Pilates or yoga workout every week. Mondays are usually for English classes, and then I'll post the Spanish version of that on Wednesdays. However, I'm excited to start incorporating um, some art videos onto my channel and really showcasing the Pilates and yoga inspired artwork that I like to work on. And some of those pieces I sell on Etsy in either a downloadable file or sticker form. I'm dabbling in a couple different things and I haven't really quite stuck to anything other than stickers and downloadable files that you can print and hang up on your wall. But uh, anyways, today's video, we're going to be focusing on a design, one of my latest designs on my Etsy store. And if you're interested in kind of seeing the breakdown of it and why I chose certain colors and what inspired the design, let's keep on watching. Okay, doke. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm using this particular screenshot of a class that I was teaching, a yoga class that's on my website. Uh, I took a screenshot of this pose. I really, really felt awesome at the end of filming this and being in this position and obviously shavasana always feels good if you take a yoga class it's when you lay down at the very end and you try to find some sort of stillness some people meditate and in this particular class um, i was meditating and i was fo focusing on some breathing patterns and i just felt really good and just looking at the screen screen grab i remember how i felt when i was filming this uh, but anyway, I decided because of that, I wanted to create a design, a sticker in particular, that would remind me of that feeling. And although I have a personal connection to this particular design, I was really hoping that in designing it and maybe changing the colors, and you'll see later on I changed the design of the mat, that that would create that same sort of feeling or similar feeling in anyone who purchased the sticker or had it anywhere they can see it. So I'm definitely one of those people that likes to put stickers on their water bottles. I don't go crazy, but I do like to, you know, change out my stickers every now and then, depending on my mood, um, or have it in my notebook where I plan my lessons. I'll have stickers and or motivational little sayings and things that kind of give me a certain feeling. But anyway, um, not to give you an in-depth tutorial or anything, but I usually will start uh, to use the colors that I have on the screen grab. Um, but here you'll see me putting on the screen a color palette, and that color palette I get from Pinterest. And I'll just scroll Pinterest, I'll put color palettes or color palettes calm or color palettes neutral, and until I find a color palette that I feel matches with what I want the design to portray. And so in this particular one, I was really going through a neutrals phase and I had a vision in my head and this palette just 100% was spot on. So you'll see me play around with the different colors. And what I like about doing art digitally is that because of the way that I do the art, I can essentially duplicate certain layers and then just change the color. So you're getting the exact same design, it's just changed to a different color and it's pretty quick to do. It's time consuming. Um, actually, it's not quick, it's simple to do. It's just time consuming. So anyway, you'll see me change and kind of go back and forth between whether or not I wanted this to be a sticker for first or an art print. But I've kind of made it a rule for myself that for the art prints, I wouldn't offer them on my Etsy store unless I have printed it out myself and really checked for the quality of the print. So I don't offer it as a downloadable form yet, but I'm definitely working on it. I just have to make sure to order the print myself, make sure everything looks great. So I did end up deciding on selling this as just a sticker for the time being. And because of that, I envisioned, obviously, Shavasana, but whenever I'm in Shavasana, one of the easiest ways to settle my mind is I start to think about um, the sky, the stars, uh, weather, I guess. It, it sounds kind of silly, but I don't know why it just always calms me down. So I was thinking about the stars and kind of the galaxy and trying to visualize that in my head, and I wanted to put an element of that in the design. 
Now, of course, with the sticker, there's only so many ways that you can do that. So I decided to, and you'll see this a little bit later, but you'll see me play between putting the design on the mat or um, deciding on the art print, putting the stars above. And I really like that. I don't know if, if the art print version of that is in this time lapse, but we'll see. I do know that the sticker version of this is in here. And yeah, I just like to play with colors. I think the color block tracing is what takes a lot of time, but once that's done, the playing around with the colors is my favorite part because I, I try to match the mood that I'm trying to give or trying to Im implement in the design. And I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm playing with brushes. Yeah, so Adobe Fresco offers a membership where you can for a slightly higher fee, you can have access to certain brushes and textures. And textures are something that I really want to play around with in my designs moving forward. So I signed up for that membership. And yeah, I'm trying to find a brush that um, will bring out the stars. And I didn't quite find a brush that was exactly perfect for what I wanted, but that's okay. The brush I ended up choosing was fine. And um, after doing that, I started playing around with a little bit more shading and kind of fine tuning small lines and details because I do have a pretty shaky hand. So being able to go back and clean the lines up is, is really soothing for me actually. And do I end up with a full pink outfit? I think I do. I think I do. Yeah. So this ends up being the design. This is the sticker form. I do like the look of the die cut sticker with the white border around. So I went back and I did that. And uh, yeah, now it's on my Etsy shop. So I hope you guys liked that or enjoyed the kind of my design thought process behind that. I know the video is short, but I'm trying to get a feel for what kind of videos I want to incorporate onto my channel. And again, if you're interested in seeing or checking out any of the art pieces that I have, I'll leave all of my Etsy links down below. Thanks guys. Have a great day.